<laughs> no, I am not racist. Black Lives Matter, damn it! Ow. Catherine Jenner is not a hero. <laughs> not. So that puts you at seven. Yes. I know where at least one more is. Oh yeah, I forgot about that upper area. Nope, oh, fuck all you. Wait, there's a treasure right here, so I guess I am gonna have to fight you. Don't fall off. I know, I'm trying not to, but it's kind of hard to fight these fuckers and stay on the goddamn roof. Killed fire with fire. No, that was a thunder one. Oh. Oh, at least they're giving me a three points of kill. Okay. Now. Give me some treasure. Free shit. Unfortunately, I have these fuckers to deal with, and I have to try to not fall off of here. Wouldn't Thunder be a good spell against them? Well, I can try it. There's another postcard. So that makes eight. Yep, and the last two, I can't quite remember where they are. But, in the meantime, let's go cash these in. Actually, if I remember right, I think you get at least one of the postcards from the Dalmatians. Oh, yeah, you do! I'm not sure if you get both of them. No, no, no. You get one of them from the Dalmatians, and then you get the other one... From that Trinity symbol? No. Um, actually, no, I think you do. Now I think about it. Maybe not. No, you don't get one from the Dalmatians. I remember now. Isn't that Trinity symbol the one where they stack up on each other, the green one? Yeah, Trinity Ladder. So they get on top of each other so that they can grab the postcard from up there. No. No. Um, they would be... If the camera would cooperate. I'm trying to look up, but it won't let me. See that ladder up there? Mm -hmm. That's what they drop down, and that leads into the synthesis shop. Oh. And they somehow swing that ladder down without breaking that glass case in the middle. Pretty much, yeah. So... Oh, wait. What am I doing? Postcards. Yeah, free shit. So yeah, the the last two postcards I can't get right now. Stop grabbing on, you dumbass. Elixir. Mega Elixir. Or a Chalcum. A very, very rare synthesis item. So yeah, we only have two left, and like I said, we can't get either of them right now. I'm glad you remembered where they were, because... Uh, I was kind of straining my brain for that one, but but yeah, I did remember. 
Yeah, one is in the synthesis shop. The other is in a spot that I'm not going to say right now because it would spoil story parts. Mm. Actually, now that I think about it... You never climbed up there, did you? Yeah, I never got... I know there's treasure up here. Somewhere. I think he went the wrong direction. I just know it's somewhere up on these balconies. Stiff! There's the stuff. Oh, bastard. Bastard! Get... Get up there, you dumbass. There. there. Alright. Treasure! Free shit! Trinity! And this is where we're supposed to be headed. I was just wasting time. But hey, it was for stuff. And I needed stuff. So, how did they get in there when you couldn't? Shh. I found the keyhole. Yep. Keyblade automatically locked it. Blah, blah, blah. Good. Every world among the stars is a keyhole. And each one leads to the heart of that world. There must be one in this town as well. What do you mean? It was an Ansem's report. Yeah. We kind of talked through that whole scene when they were talking about Ansem, but yeah. He was like the leader of their world, and he was studying hearts. So, yeah. The Heartless are after the hearts of the worlds, and if they get to them, the world falls into darkness. That's what happened to Destiny Islands and many others. And then we gotta talk to him again because they still didn't ask about the damn gummy piece. Yeah, he didn't say a word because he didn't know. Woohoo! Once again, he doesn't know. But he just gave us a summon stone. And I actually do know who will help us with that. More puppies! Yes. Shortcut! So that's how they got down there. Right, come talk to this bitch. She'll know all about them. Oh wait, I gotta talk to Merlin first. Oh wait, that's right, I gotta talk to Sid first. <laughs> I'm doing everything out of order. I know there's things I have to do. <laughs> I just don't know when I'm supposed to do what. Okay, so... Get your shit together, man. I know, man. I'm way off fucking course right now. Stupid moving rocks. All right. Load. Thank you. All right, I'm not fighting all these fuckers again. Fuck them. Shortcut. All right, so we're supposed to go talk to Sid, right? So we come here. Oh wait, he is here right now. Okay, that's right. They ain't a gummy block. No shit. Navigation gummies. Like you said earlier. I could lend y'all a hand. So yeah, he just fucking installs it for free. 
It means it's deliver a thing. This book. The bell at the gizmo shop is ringing. So, yeah. But first, we gotta deliver this book. And, yeah. And then you can talk to them, and then I... go investigate, and then go talk to Sid again, and yada, yada, yada. Pretty much, yeah. So, I gotta go talk to Merlin next, because he's the one that I'm delivering the book to. God damn, Donald! the hell? Wow. Sometimes Donald is pathetic and other times he's a goddamn beast. Okay, come back here. Now I can talk to Merlin. And he'll want the book. So, yeah. It's a very special book. And now he tells me to talk to her about the fucking stone. That's a summon gem, not a stone. My bad. So, yeah, she can restore him. And my first summon, Simba. I really don't use summons, like, hardly ever. Because they're mostly useless. Alright, fucking get your act together. I'm not going anywhere else, bitch. I want to look at the book. For this place... Oh, yeah. We were talking about it earlier, and I completely forgot about it. Yep. Like I said, Winnie the Pooh is in this game. The original movie was based around a book. This this is that book. Oh, bother. Just ignore the weird sound in the background if you can hear it. I think it did pick up on it a little bit. Probably. That's our weird ass drain in our bathtub. It sounds like there's a fucking demon down there screeching at you. Hi there. What's wrong? Nothing. I just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, That's mean. I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. How would I Fucking do that? Fucking Jim Cummings, We've only man. Just met. Man of a thousand voices. What do you mean? Well, we all lived here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play poo -poo sticks. Poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Oh, just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. Sad face. All my friends... And my favorite honey tree, too. Anyone Not honey. Must have gone away honey. While I was napping, I think. I'm starting to sink into the chair. So yeah, that happens. Too. Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Thinking's a little bit. To advance for you, Pooh. He's essentially trying to figure out how to deal with death. 
That's the most disturbing part of this. Because if he were just going somewhere, then he would still be there, so he wouldn't need to say goodbye to himself. He's trying to deal with death. And that's a little fucked up for Winnie the Pooh. 